Hey learners, Pranshi Verma this side. Welcome to my channel guys. In today's YouTube session, we are going to learn Solid Waste Management Unit 4 and Unit 4 name is Composting. Multiple choice question and answer and guys, they all are sample based question and answer for you. And please, you focus on multiple choice question and answer on your theory because as much as the concept and theory is clear, you will be able to attempt a multiple choice question and answer exam. Attempt kar okay? Now let's begin. And this your first question is waste can be recycled by the method of option A composting, option B burning, option C disposal, option D none of the above. Right answer is option A composting. Waste can be recycled by the method of composting. Next question the finished product which looks like soil and is option A is low in carbon and nitrogen. Option B is high in carbon and low nitrogen. Option C is low in carbon and high nitrogen. Option D is high in carbon and nitrogen. Okay, right answer is option D is high in carbon and nitrogen. The finished product which looks like soil and is, is high in carbon and nitrogen. Next question. Compost allows the soil to retain more plant nutrients over a option A initially longer period, option B initially shorter period, option C longer period, option D none of the above. Right answer is option C longer period. Next question. In vermi composting method, option A earth bombs are added to the compost, option B bacteria are added to the compost. Option C. Fungus are added to the compost. Option D. None of the above. Right answer is option A. Earth worms are added to the compost. Next question. To make a compost pit, you have to select a cool shaded corner of the garden or the school compound and dig a pit which ideally should be option A. 3 meter deep. Option B. 6 feet deep. Option C. 3 feet deep. And option D. None of the above. Right answer is option C, 3 feet deep. Next question. The rich pure organic matter is ready to be used. Option A, at the end of 45 days. Option B, at the end of 30 days. Option C, at the end of 15 days. And option D, none of the above. Right answer is option A, at the end of 45 days. Okay. Next question. Disposal by inf infiltration can only be considered where there is no danger of option A, air pollution, option B, groundwater pollution, option C, soil pollution, option D, none of the above. Right answer is option B, groundwater pollution. Next question. The process of composting ensures the waste that is produced in the kitchen is option A. Not carelessly thrown and left to rot. Option B. Recyclable. Option C. Disposable. Option D. None of the above. Right answer is option A. Not carelessly thrown and left to rot. Next question. Composting can significantly reduce the amount of option A. Disposable garbage. Option B. Non-disposable garbage. Option C. Recyclable garbage and option D none of the above. Right answer is option A. Disposable garbage. Next question. The main parameters which de best determine the potential of recovery of energy from waste. Option A. Quantity of waste. Option B. Physical characteristics. Option C. Chemical characteristics. Option D. All of the above. Right answer is option D. All of the above. Next question. The important physical parameters requiring consideration include option A, size of constituents, option B, density, option C, moisture content, option D, all of the above. Right answer is option D, all of the above. Next question. Factor affecting biogas production, option A, bacterial population, option B, organic loading rate, Option C, hydraulic retention time. And option D, all of the above. Right answer is option D, all of the above. Next question. 
Cogeneration is the simultaneous generation of option A. Heat and power, option B. Steam and condensate, option C. Mechanical energy and power, option D. All of the above. Right answer is option A. Heat and power. Cogeneration is the simultaneous generation of heat and power. Next question. Gasification is a modification of prolysis. It can be option A. Exothermic only. Option B. Endothermic only. Option C. Both exothermic and endothermic. And option D. None of the above. Right answer is option C. Both exothermic and endothermic. Okay. Next question. Which one of the following solid based disposal method is ecologically most acceptable? Option A. Incineration. Option B. Sanitary landfill. Option C. Composting. Option D. Pyrolysis. And here, right answer is option C. Composting. Okay. Composting is a solid waste disposal method is ecologically most acceptable. This is important question guys. Next question. Which one of the following statement explain the term pyrolysis? Option A. Solid waste is heated in closed containers in oxygen free atmosphere. Option B. Solid waste is incinerated in the presence of oxygen. Option C. Based water is treated with oxygen. Option D. Dissolved with solids from water and removed by glass distillation. And right answer is option A. Solid waste is heated in closed container in oxygen free atmosphere. Next question. Which one of the following methods of solid waste management conserves energy most efficiently in the form of gas or oil? Option A. Incineration with heat recovery. Option B. Composting. Option C. Fluidized bed incineration. Option D. Pyrolysis. Right answer is option A. Incineration with heat recovery. Next question. Bioremediation is the treatment to break toxic substances into less toxic or non-toxic materials which focused on option A. Contaminated soils. Option B. To the quantity of the base and option C. Natural of the contamination. Option D. All of the above. Right answer is option D. All of the above. Next question. Wengler method of composting involves decomposition of organic base by option A. Aerobic bacteria. Option B. Anaerobic bacteria. Option C. Yeast. Option D. Earthworms. Right answer is option B. Anaerobic bacteria. Next question. The process of decomposition of biodegradable solid base by earthworms is called blank space. Option A. Landfills. Option B. Shredding. Option C. Vermicomposting. And option D. Composting. Right answer is option C. Vermicomposting. Next question. Indoor method of composting involves decomposition of organic base by option A. Aerobic bacteria. Option B. Anaerobic bacteria. Option C. Yeast. Option D. Earthworms. Right answer is option A. Aerobic bacteria. Next question. What are the advantages of waste to energy? Option A. It's economical. Option B. Reduce volume of waste. Option C. Recover useful energy. And option D. Both B and C. Right answer is option D. Both B and C. Okay. Means advantage of waste to energy are reduce volume of waste and recover useful energy okay next question aerobic bacteria option a flourish in the presence of free oxygen option b consume organic matter as their food option c oxidize organic matter in sewage option d all of the above right answer is option d all of the above next question to maintain aerobic biological activity the moisture content to the compost mass Compost mass should be about option A 45%, option B 50%, option D 55%, option D 60%. Right answer is 
ऑप्शन सी फिफ्टी फाइव परसेंट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द बेस्ड प्लास्टिक्स आर कन्वर्टेड इन टू लिक्विड फ्यूल बाय द प्रोसेस ऑप्शन ए पायरोलाइसिस ऑप्शन बी क्रैकिंग ऑप्शन सी हाइड्रोलाइसिस ऑप्शन डी इंसिनरेशन राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए पायरोलाइसिस The waste plastics are converted into liquid fuel by the process by the pyrolysis process. Okay, guys. Now let's wind up this lecture. See you in the next video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos and please focus on in all your theory as well as multiple choice question and answer. Wish you a very very all the best for your examination.